This is going to be a fun Cardano video. And actually, right off the bat, I want, I want to say something. If you are looking at something, in this case, crypto, if you're tracking crypto, especially for years, on the macro, on the zoomed out, maybe you're out there, you're not a fan of Ada, and you're watching this video like, what is this dude talking about? I encourage you to do something, and we should all do this. When you're, when you're watching a crypto, when you're trying to understand a story that's unfolding, just for a second, try to change your perspective just like that. Things that you see are the same, but they look a little bit differently. Changing your perspective is a huge piece of growing in crypto and succeeding in the space. I'm telling you that right off the bat. And Cardano ADA, and, and talk to me in a couple of years, it will be the perfect example of what I'm talking about to illustrate what I'm talking about. Change your perspective, everybody. Find the opportunity. That's what I've been doing in my years of crypto. And that's why I feel like I landed on ADA. And I know we enjoyed the last bull cycle in ADA, but I think that was just the beginning. Kind of like Ethereum's first major crazy bull cycle in 2017. This is ADA's first cycle back in 2020, 21. And now we're going into our second. And let me break down my thoughts on Cardano. We're going to dig into the charts. We're going to dig into even the shorter term. This is a daily setup that's, that's taking place still. A lot to track there. A lot to anticipate there. But let's start on the zoomed out. Hit the subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, hit the like. And let's start with this, this post I did a little bit ago. I said it's so early in Cardano. And this is based off of price. I said ADA moving a penny at a time is a nice move. It is these days. I find myself seeing 25 cents to 26 cents and i'm kind of like all right getting a little bit of a green candle going here and it's such a small move but it's a penny i said imagine when ada's moving a dollar at a time and i think somebody in the comments said you know that's not possible the, the market cap will be way too high for that to happen and that kind of inspired me to tweet this when ada is five dollars and it makes a move to six dollars that will be a simple 20 percent bull market move a very commonplace thing for all of crypto, even Bitcoin. So five to six dollars, that's a dollar move. And that could happen quite quickly in a bull environment. The market cap will be just over 200 billion. And that is realistic. I said, if you don't think this is possible, ETH broke 500 billion last bull market. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of are you ready? This is where the change of perspective starts coming into focus, especially if you're, you just don't see it with, with Cardano. And if you don't see it with Cardano, I just want to, before we dive into the charts and we're about to get there, we're about to get into this exact setup. If you don't see it with Cardano, we've been tracking total value lock. We've been tracking DeFi. All of the projects that are coming online have been coming online. ADA is outperforming as far as DeFi goes. I mean, just look at, look at ADA TVL. I think right now, even breaking all time high uh, as of today in ADA. So the ecosystem is growing. We just had this brand new uh, platform launch. And here's Ada Whale talking about it. One thing that makes AXO, AXO trade is what launched revolutionary, especially on Cardano, is it separates trade execution from settlement. This project's cool. I, I, I'm not going to do cover it, but go dig into it. Execution effectively can happen in microseconds. Settlement, whenever the next block has space. Near instantaneous order submission and matching. This is, this is changing trading for not just, this isn't just a Cardano thing. This is huge for crypto. Also, no batchers, and batcher fees. We've been saying the fundamentals for Cardano, they're different. And that's why I think Cardano is getting set up to do something very special, even when, it, when compared to things like Ethereum, which obviously is a massive network, but it's special. So Cardano spot over here, we kind of also talking about AXO trade. And this is where the specialness of Cardano comes into play. AXO utilizes Cardano's EUTXO architecture to build a next generation DeFi application. This is what makes Cardano special, everybody. This is this flip of perspective. If you notice these things, we're talking about EUTXO is kind of taking the security of the UTXO system with Bitcoin. You got that nice Bitcoin security, and it's also combining it with the programmability that Ethereum has to give us this EUTXO that Cardano has implemented. And this is what is allowing DeFi to innovate, to, to kind of change the game for crypto. AXO trade is a really nice kind of use case of that. And I just, I just came across Axo Trade. This isn't a sponsored Axo Trade video. I'm just really curious of the project and think, think it's really cool. I think like a lot of people do out there. That's Cardano. A, a, quick, a quick glimpse of perspective for you. 
just a little bit of a shift of perspective. People are like, Cardano's done. It's dead. It's over. Put all this, put that perspective aside, right? Even if we don't have that, if I was just someone new, had no idea about ADA, I would even look at the technical analysis of it all and say, wow, it actually just looks like ADA is doing what it did last cycle, right? And that is to say, at this part of the cycle, compared to last cycle, pre-Bitcoin halving, right there, Cardano looks very similar. And what did it do after the Bitcoin halving? What did it do in the last bull market? Without having all of these, these technicals in place for DeFi growth and explosion. DeFi wasn't here yet. I mean, we're looking in the middle of the bear mar- or the middle of the bear market. DeFi was just coming online with Sunday Swap, 1 million TVL. That was in the middle of the bear market. Last bull market, we didn't have any of this. What's going to happen in the next bull market for Cardano with the EUTXO in place for DeFi to innovate? Like, like projects like Axo Trade. What's going to happen, everybody? I'm not saying that it's going to be once again from the low to all-time high. It's going to be another like 10,000% or so, right? I'm not sitting here saying that. But what, what could the gains look like? A thousand percent gets us basically to all time high. And then surpassing that, what does three thousand percent, four thousand percent look like? What what does it look like getting into that territory of five to six dollars, a two thousand percent gain? It's realistic. Ethereum did over double that. And Cardano fundamentals are set and sound for that type of growth. That's just my perspective. And I wanted to show that to you briefly before we even get into the technical analysis of it all. Now let's get into the technical analysis of it all. This is what the setup looks like on the daily chart. I want to talk about it. I want to first start with the weekly because I just noticed what what kind of just occurred is this. You can see this MACD line in blue crossing above that red signal line on the MACD. We even have the histogram, a little bit of a green candle. There's no guarantees there. There really is not, but I will say this. Let's go back and this is not an event that takes place often. Let's look at the last time it took place. First off was back here. This was June uh, 2022 in the middle of the bear market. And this is what ADA did. This is an important technical analysis move. Very simple move. It pulled into the 20-week moving average. There was a little bit of a rally there, right? We're talking from like 40 cents up to almost 60 cents. That's a pretty big rally uh, for ADA. And it was just that bear market resistance at the 20-week moving average. That's what we've been contending with the entire bear market. So let's take note. We're getting a very similar MACD cross that we had in June 2022. The 20-week moving average at this very confluent area of this upper trend line, which is very much a key piece of the shorter-term technical analysis, we're looking at around 27 to 28 cents. I think it's a strong likelihood ADA at least tests that area, right? But I want to go back even further and say, okay, well, that was the last time it kind of had that move to the upside, the MACD line crossing the signal line. How about before that? And let's, we're going to disregard the, the previous bear market one. It happened twice in the bear market, the MACD crossing above, but we're not in that type of bear market capitulation environment anymore. So prior to that, the, the MACD line crossing the signal line happened twice. And I just want to show you those two times. Number one was that last rally going into all-time high. That's a massive move. And then number two, if we open up the MACD once again real quick, we're looking at like November 2020. That sounds familiar. That is Bitcoin breaking the bull market doors. And that's essentially crypto entering the bull market. So back here. So those last two times, this MACD line crossed the signal line, ADA made some nice moves. Not to mention even in the bear market, ADA pulling into the 20-week moving average, right? Here, June to July 2022. So there is a case for ADA to make a strong move to the upside. What we're waiting for on the macro is the 20-week moving average. I mean, if you've been watching my channel, I've been talking about this move, waiting for it to happen since since we entered the bear market. And and we knew it's going to be just a long, just multi-month wait before it happens, especially even the bottoming out phase. And if you go and look at the weekly, right? The bottoming out phase is taking place so similar to what happened in the last bear market bottoming out phase. And just look at it. Look at the RSI, this momentum oscillator. At this point, last cycle, ADA just kind of doing the same exact thing, just consolidating, rocky, sideways, right? Pre-having 
pre-having, we're waiting for the escape. We're still waiting for the escape into having. So it's not necessarily true that Ada is getting ready to escape right now, but that's what the story is that we can start tracking, I think. And it kind of starts on the daily chart. So we're, we're tracking that weekly. We're tracking the escape of Cardano real quick on the weekly, breaking above that 20-week moving average. It's that green line confluent with the upper trend line. And then ultimately also the 50-week moving average in blue. So 32 cents down to around 27 cents. Huge resistance for ADA. But we're waiting for that shift to take place. It's a multi-month process. You see it occurring right here on the charts. We go over to the daily. This could be a setup that allows it to happen. But there's no guarantees. We should always anticipate further downside. It doesn't matter where we are in a bull market, in a bear market. We should just always anticipate huge, huge, huge dips. It's what crypto does, especially altcoins. However, let's, let's analyze and watch for a break to the upside. There's that upper trend line that's confluent on the weekly. Remember, this is a daily, but this is a confluent resistance area right around 27 cents with that 20-week that moving average. But this is the area we want to see ADA break right there. And it's around 27 cents. And a target to the upside out of this falling wedge is around 40 cents to the upside. That journey could have a lot go going on in there, right? So we, maybe we get a break to the upside. Maybe we just cruise in, the 200 comes into the price, resistance, we get a throwback, which is so typical of these types of setups, a throwback to the trend line. Maybe there's support at the trend line, and then we're kind of cruising up to our target. And look at where we are on the chart already. We're in December. This could be a while before we hit this target. This is a 40 cent target, but that process isn't something that could take place in just a day. To the downside, let's talk about it, everybody. It's, it's just something realistic because remember where we are in this cycle. If we go to the weekly chart real quick, where we are on this, in this cycle, at this point last cycle, ADA, it did kind of make a little rally to the 20 week moving average, which is what we're talking about right now. But even after that, after we exit this red rectangle, it actually fell to another lower low, right? So just this continued to the downside. So maybe we rally to the 20-week moving average. And it's not really a rally. It's a penny away. And then we're falling. That could happen. So let's anticipate that as well as we kind of just, we prepare. And that's all this is for me, everybody. I'm just preparing. I'm visualizing. I'm anticipating every scenario. Target to the downside out of the wedge. It's around 15 cents, right? So 14 to 15 cents to the downside, 40, 41 cents to the upside. And that's just the name of the game. Nobody knows which way it will break, but we have our areas to watch for. We have this consistent area of support uh, in play, still around 23, 24 cents. The, the lower trend line, right around 22, 23 cents. If that breaks, then we start getting a similar type of story to the downside. Maybe we break out, of the, out to the downside. We pull back to test resistance. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a busted wedge. We break back in, and then we actually eventually break to the upside. These are all things we have to monitor and track. That's why I do technical analysis so consistently. But these are the things that are in play. This could spell out the, the true bottom for, for ADA. Maybe in the coming next couple of months. This could be the setup for it, unfortunately. It's, it's possible. But if that's the case, the upside potential already from where ADA is at $0.25, cents, the upside potential at $0.15 cents is, is mind-blowing. And it just seems to me that in crypto in general, the short-term holders, they're just getting shaken out. It just seems like there's just long-term holders sitting back. They're just like, whatever whatever, Ada, go to five cents. I'm just holding and we'll see what happens. That's where I am in my portfolio, everybody. For me, I'm just kind of like, I'm ready. Either way, if crypto fails and goes to zero, it's a true bummer. But my risk appetite is, is, is here. I'm comfortable with, with how, I'm, how my portfolio is set up. Whatever happens, happens. But to the upside, when I start zooming out on the charts, I see what's possible, what's in play. And I especially start thinking of things like Bitcoin dominance and where we're getting on the Bitcoin dominance chart, meaning in these green boxes, this is where altcoins outperform Bitcoin. This is where out, altcoins really, truly explode. And check this out, everybody. We're, we're, we're approaching the next green box post having. There's still months to go, but it's getting there. It really is getting there. This next green box beginning, it's like less than a year away for ADA. And... We've gone through a bear market, right? Or I'm sorry, we've gone through the bear market. Where did that start? Probably right around here. Bitcoin dominance doing its thing right now, but it's just putting a lower high from these cycles. 
And I think altcoin dominance slowly on the rise on the very, very, very zoomed out. So that's for another video though. But everybody, these are my thoughts on Cardano. These are short-term targets. They're actually kind of mid-term targets since it's a daily chart. But right now on the very short term, I'm just monitoring. I want to see if ADA can make the move to 27 cents. It's like a penny away to get to that area. And can it break out? And just look at the consolidation that it's been in. Can it break out of this upper trend line? That's what I'm watching uh, on the very short term. We're even getting kind of this 20-day moving average, crossing above the 50, maybe get a little resistance at 27, come back down and test these moving averages, and then the breakout, right? This could take a little bit of time, but these are the things that I'm watching. I hope that you all are doing well out there, whether you like ADA or not. I hope you're just, you're doing okay because the world is crazy right now. Crypto is crazy. It's been a rough crypto winter. I think the crypto winter is getting close to an end, but it's just a matter of tracking it, being prepared either way. Let me know your thoughts, everybody, in the comments below. I appreciate you. If you're still out there watching these videos, hit the subscribe, hit the like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.